Hi there, Jacques here with the Canny Success Team to walk you through importing feedback into Canny to a new board. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and create a new board here in Canny, and we will call this new board because I am not very creative. <laughs> All right. So now that we have our new board here, we want to get posts into that uh, using a spreadsheet. Now you may notice I have a separate tab here with a spreadsheet. This has all of my feedback organized by row. So one row is one post. And you'll notice I have the title, the details, the status, the tags, and the category. Now, the tags, you'll notice they are comma separated, so you can have multiple tags. Just make sure you put a comma in between to separate those out. And um, the category, only one category at a time. So if you have commas in there, it will be a single category with commas in it. So just a heads up there. Let's head back over to the canny side of things. And we're going to go into our board settings, that little gear wheel there. And we're going to select import data. So we're going to go ahead and upload a CSV file. Now, first things first, let's download this into a CSV format. And there we go. So let's head over to import data and we will upload a CSV file. We'll just go ahead and select that. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that the first row is the header, this toggle would need to be selected in my case, because in my case, that first row is just a header. I do not want this importing as its own separate post. So that's why I've gone ahead and enabled that. Now, if the titles don't match, that's perfectly fine. You can go ahead and describe and say, hey, this column is my status. This column is my title. Go ahead and skip that column, uh, however you'd like that set. So you can scroll through and see what's gonna be created and go through and assign those columns. That's fine if it has multiple columns more, you can just skip any additional columns that you got from whatever provider you're coming from, or if you had feedback in a spreadsheet, uh, perfectly fine to set that up. So as I mentioned, be sure to comma separate any tags. The category um, is only one category per post. Now, as far as the status goes, one thing to note about the status is that if the status is listed here, don't match with a status that is in canny, that's perfectly fine. It will just import and create a new status in the roadmap and statuses section here. So just go to the settings, check out roadmap and statuses, make sure it matches up 100%. Or if you're fine importing those new statuses from the spreadsheet, no worries. So with that, let's go ahead and import these 10 posts. And this just takes a few seconds. There we go. And perfect. So now if we head on over to feedback and we select our new board, we see that they have all been imported. Now, a few things to note here, the admin who did the upload is going to be credited as the author of the post. Uh, same goes if you have a status selected, uh, it will be marked as that status. Now, by the way, if you have no status in there, that's perfectly fine. We will just mark it as that default open status, uh, whatever it is that people uh, create a status, that initial default status, that's what it'll default to if it's pulling in from the spreadsheet. So. With that, thank you so much. And if you have any questions, we have a lot more data in our help center here. You can also feel free to reach out to us via that chat link. There are humans on the other end if you need us. Thanks so much. And as always, make it a great day.